Iran asks for using OIC capacities to stand against normalization of ties with Israel. Foreign Ministry spokesman Saeed Khadabzadeh made the remarks on Wednesday, elaborating on the latest situation of cooperation between the Islamic Republic of Iran and the OIC. He expressed hope that during the tenure of the new Secretary-General the OIC would witness further effort in line with serving common interests of the Islamic Ummah and member states in the international arena. Khadib Zadeh congratulated Hussein Ibrahim Taha on his election as the new OIC Secretary-General and wished success for him. He added that Ibrahim Taha has extended separate messages to the Iranian president and foreign minister and has expressed readiness for fostering cooperation with the Islamic Republic. Khadib Zadeh also lauded the endeavors made by the former OIC Secretary-General. Last Friday, the OIC demanded accountability for extrajudicial executions and crimes committed against Palestinians by Israel. The OIC said in a statement that Israeli police shot and killed a 16-year-old Palestinian named Omar Abu Asab on November 17 in occupied East Jerusalem after accusing him of a stabbing attempt. Underlining that increased Israeli violence and attacks against Palestinians posed the risk of escalating tensions in the region, the OIC strongly condemned Israel's crimes against Palestinians. The statement also pointed out that Sami Omer, a Palestinian inmate in an Israeli jail, died as a result of medical negligence and inhumane treatment of Palestinian prisoners. It said Israel should be held accountable for these crimes, calling on the UN and other relevant international bodies to form committees and investigate the deaths of both individuals. It also urged the international community to intervene and save Palestinian detainees in Israeli jails who are on hunger strike.